Hi, my name is Tom Brennan, and I'm the Commercial Consular at the U.S. Embassy in Vienna. That means I promote trade and tourism between our two countries. You might not know this, but the United States is Austria's third largest trading partner in the world, and nearly 200,000 Austrians visited the United States last year. Hmm, I'm from Missouri, or is it Missouri? It depends on where you're from. I'm from St. Louis, so it is Missouri to me. Missouri is practically in the middle of the United States. There's always a question, is it north or south, east or west? It is a border state that transitions from the eastern United States to the western United States. St. Louis is sometimes called the westernmost eastern city, and Kansas City the easternmost western city. The eastern border of the state is defined by the Mississippi River. The Missouri River defines part of the western border. In Kansas City, the Missouri turns east and joins the Mississippi River just above St. Louis. Missouri is actually bordered by eight other states. Originally settled by various indigenous tribes, the first European settlers were French Canadians who arrived around 1750. It became Spanish territory soon after that, but was returned to France in the early 19th century. In 1803, the United States bought the entire Louisiana Territory, including Missouri, from France. Thomas Jefferson was the president then, and this leads to the Missouri capital being called Jefferson City. Annexation to the United States led to the immigration of American settlers who owned slaves. This set the stage for a very interesting event in American history, the Missouri Compromise. To keep the number of free and slave states in balance, Maine and Missouri were both admitted to the Union in 1821, Maine being free and Missouri a slave state. The population grew rapidly from 1830 to 1860 and included many Irish and German immigrants, including my great-grandfather from Bad Durkheim in Germany. There were many immigrants from the Rhineland area since the Missouri River Valley was an excellent location to produce wine. Prior to the American Civil War, Missouri was the second largest wine producing state in the country. Today you can still find a lengthy Weinstrasse and there are nearly 100 operating wineries in Missouri. Missouri's location also meant that it played an important role in the development of the western United States. Just after the Louisiana Purchase, the Lewis and Clark Expedition was started in hopes of finding a connection to the Pacific Ocean. St. Louis was known as the Gateway to the West and is today symbolized by the Gateway Arch. Kansas City, Independence, and St. Joseph, Missouri were the starting points for many wagon trains headed to California after gold was discovered there. Most people do not know that many Civil War engagements and battles were fought in Missouri. In fact, the Army Register confirms that in 1861, more battles were fought in Missouri than Virginia and West Virginia combined. Not to brag too much, but Missouri has been home to many names you might recognize. President Harry Truman spent his entire life in Independence, Missouri, before moving to Washington, D.C. Following the Civil War, Ulysses S. Grant met his wife in St. Louis and was a farmer's there. You can still visit Grant's farm today. Missouri's most famous author was Mark Twain who lived nearly 20 months in Vienna in the late 1890s. He left Austria with a very heavy heart and fondly reminisced about his private audience with Emperor Franz Josef. Though his name deceives him, Tennessee Williams spent much of his youth in St. Louis. If you've ever heard about the Pulitzer Prizes for journalism, then you might have heard about Joseph Pulitzer, who settled in St. Louis after leaving his native Austro-Hungary. Missouri's most important historic figure is probably Charles Lindbergh. He flew in St. Louis in his early career and raised the money there for his nonstop solo transatlantic flight in the spirit of St. Louis. Missourians are well represented in film, television, and theater. Brad Pitt, John Hamm from Mad Men, and Sheryl Crow all attended the University of Missouri. Film director Robert Altman was born in Kansas City, and Walt Disney spent much of his youth there. Jazz guitarist Pat Metheny and the king of ragtime Scott Joplin are from western Missouri. The classic rocker Chuck Berry is from St. Louis, as is Nellie the Rapper. I cannot close without mentioning my beloved St. Louis Cardinal baseball team. While everybody knows about the New York Yankees, the Cardinals have won more World Series than any other National League team. The Red Sox beat us in 2013, but we did win in 2011. Go Redbirds! Come visit Missouri and you'll be pleasantly surprised.